Welcome. I am Brett. This is Alex. We are twins. We're 18 years old sometimes. Uh, we might say things at the same exact uh, time, and that's okay. It's called a twin moment. And uh, about two years ago, a little uh, less than two years ago, when we were 16, um, God really put a message on our hearts for our generation. And today is kind of a culmination of that, where we want to share that message with you, and if you are just half as excited to be sitting here as we are to be standing up here, that would be that would make our day. Our concern is with the modern notion of adolescence that views the teen years as a vacation from responsibility, a time to goof off and have fun, rather than as a time to grow and prepare for a life of a usefulness, of purpose, and effectiveness. You see, the modern notion of adolescence, the one that rules our society today, expects young people to be immature and irresponsible, to be rebellious. It expects us to act foolishly, selfishly, recklessly, emotionally, without discernment. See, that is the myth of adolescence. It seems that the older we get, the more easily we begin to define our limits as what comes easily to us. Instead of pushing ourselves to step outside our comfort zones, which is where the most radical growth always takes place. See, when we were kids, our limitations were not defined by difficulty. They were not defined by failure, even repeated failure. Think of how many times you fell down before you learned to walk. So what has changed? Why do babies with inferior motor skills, inferior mental and physical strength, why do they experience nearly 100% success in overcoming their big challenges, while we teens often falter and fail before ours? The answer is that all of us, all of us, every single one of us, myself included, we are extremely susceptible to low expectations. And when our culture, when we've satisfied Despite our culture's meager requirements, we stop pushing ourselves. We've created a culture of idleness where the teen years are glorified as this wonderful vacation from responsibility. No longer does our society expect character or competence, maturity or responsibility from its young people. Instead, it has come to expect less and less and less. And we, young people, continually drop to meet those lower expectations. And it is so pervasive. It's all around us. We've grown up in it. It's like a fish in water. It doesn't know what it's like not to be wet. And the same way we've grown up in it, it's natural. It's like breathing to us. We don't even realize what has happened. I mean, when was the last time someone did something really aggravating? You were standing there going like, the anger's not coming very well today. I am really having to work hard to get angry right now. It, never. It doesn't happen. You, it will never happen to you. It has never happened to me. But you see, as easy and natural as it is to become angry, God's word says the anger of man does not bring about the kind of righteous life that God requires. So what we see is anger is wrong and easy. Controlling your temper is right and hard. Being a slacker is wrong and easy. Applying yourself is right and hard. Becoming proud is wrong and easy. Staying humble is right and hard. Do hard things is a fight against our sin nature. And so a do hard things mentality recognizes who it is that we're fighting against here and doesn't feel bad about trampling that enemy within. We live in a media saturated society where technology has progressed to the point where there is always something to watch, always something to browse, always something to listen to, always something to read. And there are thousands of voices clamoring to tell you how to spend these years. And you are, you will be spending something. 
You know, our society will tell us how to act, how to think, and how to talk. It'll tell us what to wear, what to buy, and where to buy it. It will tell us what to dream, what to value, what to live for. And it is trying to force us, squeeze us into a mold where there is no room for Christ-like character or godly competence. It is trying to make you waste these foundational years of your life. Take advantage of what God is doing all throughout our generation with this idea of the revolution, a teenage rebellion against low expectations. And the revolution is, is just a name that we have come up with for what God is doing. It, we're not talking about just take advantage of what we are doing. We're talking about what God is doing in our generation. He has put it in the hearts of young people around the world. This idea of rebelling against low expectations, making his word and his calling the standard for young people for these years of our lives, and then doing hard things for his glory. That's something he's doing. And so take advantage of our website, therevolution.com. If you have not uh, been on there, we have over 800 articles uh, that Alex and I have written on just a myriad of topics that take do hard things, take rebelling against low expectations, and apply them to all sorts of different areas of life. Take advantage of that. We have four forums on our website that allow you to interact, high quality forums where you can discuss and interact with other young people all around the country, all around the world who share um, your values, who are like-minded with you in this rebelling against low expectations. We also have a resource section with tons of other articles by dead authors and living authors, the thing, best things we've been able to find on the web. This website is something that we hope will equip you um, and inspire you to continue with the fight. And so we encourage you to go out as you faithfully do hard things and we will change the climate of this culture, of this generation, and truly accomplish great hard things for God. God bless you all. Thank you so much.